Hey Sagittarius, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, let's pull some cards for you. Whatever you need to hear. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip it if you need to. Okay, let's see. We have release. You're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. So who are you releasing? In love. Because they're releasing like a dove. So not trying to run, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's time for you to release someone, but not because you're like angry, but more so like it's just run its course. We have plant medicine that fell on my arm, so I'm going to take it. Plant medicine. Hmm. Truth. So you're facing the truth about something here. I feel like something you need to be outside in nature. You know, that is your thing. The Sagittarians I know are, are typically people who like to be out <laughs> outside especially alone like you like to do things alone so i feel like right now is a good time for you to be out in nature go for walks go to the park go to the zoo like just do things that have you around nature um i just heard botanical garden maybe like put some green a green space in your home even get a plant or maybe plant some seeds right now but this is you facing the truth okay and it could be like you spending time by yourself and nature is the thing that helps you to kind of recognize what you need to release. Because sometimes we don't know. We don't know. Well, we know. We always know. But we don't want to face it. You know what I'm saying? So let's see why you're releasing something or someone or what you are releasing. Spirit, show me what I need to see for my Sagittarians out here. We have Twinkle, the star. Wow. Okay. Aquarius energy. So you can have Aquarius in your chart. It says a glimmer of hope, faith, optimism, light at the end of the tunnel. So this is letting me know that anything is possible here. And that is about healing. Okay. So this, this is basically when you get to a point in your life where you're like, okay, what no longer serves me? What's worth me fighting for? You know, and differentiating the two, the things that are worth fighting for. You, you sit down and you problem solve and you figure it out. The things that no longer work for you, it's time to lovingly release them. Okay, so some kind of wish is being granted here, though. Some kind of big wish is coming in. A miracle is being granted to you right now. This is a card of spirituality. Okay, spirit guides, your higher self. We have the world revolves around them. So this is somebody who's self-absorbed, arrogant, self-centered, inconsiderate, ungrateful, selfish, and untitled. Untitled. Entitled. Why am I saying words wrong, y'all? Entitled. Okay, so some of y'all could be dealing with a star. You could be dealing with somebody who gets a lot of attention here. Could be an Aquarius. Let's see what else. We have out the way. Oh, remote, secluded, and hermit mode, Virgo energy. So, yeah, it's like you're going quiet on somebody. Look at this. Wish granted. I just said that. Yeah, so some of y'all are trying to get somebody out of your energy. Maybe it's hard, though, because you really do care about them. But if they're being arrogant and self-absorbed, you got to let them go. You got a strong Aquarius showing up here now, um, Virgo as well. Could also be another fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Because they say uh, fire signs have main character syndrome. I mean, that's not going to be all of y'all, obviously, because, you know, that's not true. But that, I mean, that can be a fire sign trait just because you all are fiery. You two, you, I say you too. Hmm. I don't know why I said you too. I didn't mean to say that. I don't know. Maybe you two marry each other. Maybe they say the same thing about you. But fire signs can center themselves. <laughs> I mean, this could be what this person feels about you. I don't know. Flip it how you need to. But yeah, it's like fire signs can have that trait. They can. I mean, I, I got to be honest. It, that's, we all have our Achilles um, heel, Achilles tendon in our zodiac, you know. And fire signs can be known for being self-absorbed and arrogant sometimes. I mean, it just is what it is. That's not going to be everybody's story and not all the time. But, I mean, when I think of the fire signs I know, if I had a gripe about some of them, that would be it. That would definitely be it. Because <laughs> I don't operate like that. You know, it's just kind of like, I don't think the world revolves around me. My world does, but I don't expect anybody else's to. Okay, what's Twinkle? Count it out. Underdog, doubted, overlooked, not considered, and underestimated. I feel like this person kind of feels like they're better than you. 
Like, what's that problem? You have Leo in your chart. It's like somebody doesn't see some kind of blessing coming, but it's coming for you. It might just be that you they feel like you won't let them go. What's the world revolves around them? Training wheels. Support, assistance, mastering a craft, learning a new skill in beginning stages. I feel like some of you have given this person like this false sense of security and this I don't want to say you stroke their ego because that doesn't really sum up what I'm trying to say. It feels to me like you have been this person's support system. And maybe even to a fault. Maybe to your own detriment. And this is why they're feeling this way. You could have met this person at work, at school. Or this could just be the beginning of the relationship and you're already seeing these signs. What's out the way? Home for the holidays. Something could have happened around the holidays. Let me pull one more for that. What's out the way? Why are you in hermit mode? Your surroundings. Guarded vulnerability. Pay attention to your environment. Watch those around you closely. Properly vet people. Eliminate who and what needs to be eliminated. Well, Spirit already told you to release. Okay. So you've just been taking inventory of the people around you. And you know now who needs to go and who needs to stay. What's this wish being granted? I feel like you finally finding the strength to let somebody go. Is it? We have practiced what you pre uh, preach to Hierophant. You have strong boundaries, personal boundaries right now. Okay, morals, values, ethics, principles. Some of you are married to this person or you have a marriage coming in. Could be with a Taurus or you could be leaving behind a Taurus. This is a sense of belonging. It's indoctrination. So um, I really, let me get one more for that because what I'm getting is like somebody, again, thought you would never leave them. This is about your faith. It's about group think too, though. Like, so maybe staying in a relationship with someone because you didn't want other people to judge you or something like that. If you left, you know what I'm saying? It's like now you're facing the truth that it's time to release this person. Yeah, we have Scorpio. You could be on a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Okay. Now this does talk about, it's the house of sex. And it talks about taboos and the, um, the Hierophant is actually the opposite of it. Because if you flip the Hierophant in reverse, it talks about sex taboos and stuff like that. It says, what is hidden that needs unearthing? Transformation. Remember I said you're in a period of transformation? Oh no, that was Scorpio. I'm sorry. So we have um, Scorpio, the eighth house, ruled by Mars and Pluto. I'm sorry, oh, my head is itching. Um... And this rules your colon and your reproductive system. Some of you can have children with this person, could be married. So this is about intimacy, death, mystery, sex, taboos, intimacy, um, equal opportunity. What is hidden that needs unearthing? Again, it's the house of sex. So you're saying practice what you preach. I'm wondering if this person didn't honor their vows, if you were married to them. If you were not married to them, you could be about to meet a counterpart, like a high level soulmate. And it could be a Taurus. What's the eighth house? Spirit, what's the eighth house? What needs unearthing? We said, fuck around and find out. Um, warning someone to stop acting foolishly. Consequences and barking up the wrong tree. And if you can't beat them, join them. This is Leo energy. Could also be Aquarius energy. So you warned somebody not to play with you. You kept giving them warnings to practice what they preach, to honor their word to you. I don't care if it's just a friend. I don't care who it is. You warned them. So now you're in this energy of like, okay, well, I'm going to fight back. I'm going to stand up for myself. If you can't beat them, join them. What did I, what's that old saying? If, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. That's what I'm picking up here. They weren't practicing what they preached. I still want to, why is home for the holidays here? Why we have relocation? Sagittarius energy. What's the next holiday coming up? Some of y'all could be traveling back to your hometown if you don't already live there um, for whatever the next holiday is. I guess it's um, Memorial Day or maybe you'll, ha you'll have plans this um, summer, 4th of July, or maybe even holiday time, the winter holidays. I don't know. Or maybe something about the previous winter holidays is significant here. Maybe that's when you decided to cut this person off or you started to consider it. 
What am I trying to clarify here? What happened with this person that you are releasing? The Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Remember I said it could be a star. It could be an Aries. Somebody here could be very attractive and gets a lot of attention. It says the world revolves around them. I said it could be a fire sign. It could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. So the King of Cups shows up. You know, I'm going to tell y'all what one of my Sagittarius friends told me. He's like, I... I don't really get along with the other fire signs because they're arrogant. <laughs> Sagittarius is not arrogant. Sagittarius is cool, laid back down to earth. And, you know, you could be on a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, which could have, which could have influence over you. Because the King of Cups is calm under pressure. Okay? So it's like you're kind of laid back, real mild-mannered kind of person. Like you don't really kick up a lot of dust possibly. I don't know. But there could be somebody around here who comes across as a little bit arrogant to you. And it feels like you've turned your attention away from whoever this Queen of Wands person is. This fire sign energy. Yeah. It's like you started to see through them and you cut them off. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Why did you cut them off? Because it says you're in hermit mode. Oh, wow. Because it became too stressful. And this is your energy, Sagittarius. The Nine of Wands is an ongoing battle. You got tired of this person's shit. Yeah, they were stressing you out. So you're very defensive and guarded right now. And it's because of this person's ego. And again, they could be a celebrity or just somebody really popular on social media. Three of Cups here. What's the Three of Cups? It's the King of Cups. Some of y'all hanging out with y'all friends or something. Oh, yeah, you spending time with friends and family. Maybe this is what home for the holidays is. Some of y'all are going to some type of celebration, a family reunion. I don't know what this is, but it's some good times with your, the people that you love. Could be, in particular, a father figure that you're going to be visiting or have visited. You're focused on your money right now, building an empire, creating a legacy. If you had a family with this person, they could be wanting to reconcile with you, but I feel you don't. You don't want them. Okay, um, just class out home for the holidays. That probably was it right there, but the Knight of Wands, you again, Sagittarius energy. Some of y'all could be moving back to your hometown or something. If the Six of Cups come out, okay, we get the Eight of Cups. So you are on a journey, Pisces energy. So I feel like you are being brave right now. You're facing the reality of whatever this situation is and you are releasing them. You're no longer fighting for this. For some of you, this person could have been like in and out of your life. Yeah, I told you something about your family is being highlighted here. There's some good times with your family this summer or maybe even this winter. In 2024, I see you spending a lot of time with your family. Yeah, this relationship is over. Could be with the Scorpio or an Aries. You're blocking this person and leaving them out in the cold and you're healing. You started with the star and you're ending with the star. Aquarius energy and a new relationship is coming in. Or you, you're just going to have new inspiration here. Season the moment. Yeah, I see y'all just focusing on work, growth and expansion, entrepreneurship for a lot of you. Yeah, this person might be broke. That You might be putting this person in a poor house when you pull your energy back. Maybe they don't have the money. So, so, you know, but there, there's some of you are relocating. You got the eight of wands and you got the eight of cups. Yeah, I, de I definitely see possible relocation here for you. And you had the three of wands. This is broadening your horizons, thinking outside of the box. What else is out there for me? Aries energy and the king of wands. There's the six of wands. Some of you could be in the spotlight as well. I just heard you're a big deal. Spirit said you're a big deal. Okay. And some of you are recognizing that you're stepping into your power and you are releasing a relationship or relationships, okay, with people. If this is all your energy, take it that way. Because for some of you, this might be you going through a process of healing, waking up to, you know, an, an ego death. It's, it's time for me to rise up into some higher consciousness here is what I'm seeing for some of you, if it's not a relationship. Spirit wants you to practice what you preach, okay? Stick to your, your moral code. Be on the straight and narrow. Do things the right way. Do what's right for you because that's what the hierophant means. Okay, I can talk about political correctness as well. So like I said, for some of you, you've been holding on to a relationship or people because you felt it was the right thing to do. But Spirit is saying, no, 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 no. 
you have to do what's best for you and it could be a big move coming in sagittarians are known to like pick up and move <laughs> you know like i said travel even by yourself that's your thing all right y'all like subscribe hit the notification bell maybe you're leaving the eighth house going into the ninth house which is you which does talk about higher education and um travel and spirituality your faith is very important right now but you have made somebody f around and find out because you started giving them the same energy they were giving you and i don't blame you but I, I see you spending a lot of time with your family and friends but it feels i just keep hearing back home so if you haven't moved away from your hometown maybe that part won't resonate or even if you do still live in your same hometown you're gonna find yourself spending a lot more time with your family and your friends, people that you know really love you for who you truly are and not like newcomers. These could be people you're releasing newcomers, people that you're just like, okay, wait a minute. I ain't even known you that long. <laughs> I ain't even know you that long. For some of you, it's like a situation ship that you're releasing. Yeah, it's over. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.